guys, today I'm making a miniature treehouse for your dolls. But before we get started, I wanted to introduce you guys to a really cool app. It's called Miniatures Amino, the sister, if you will, of Crafty Amino, if you're familiar with that app. And, and it's available for Android and Apple. And so here I just open it up and you can see here already just these adorable little miniatures. And so it's just a community of like-minded people interested in miniatures and adorable little crafts like this little fox right here. Um, and also it's a great place to post your own work or share cool pics you find online. And you can even post your work in progress, which is really cool and a great way to help you stay on track while you're working on your craft. Uh, and then, oh, here's one of my favorites. So this is a how to make a miniature edible Oreo. Well, you just take a regular Oreo cookie and you eat it until it becomes a miniature. Pretty clever. But it's more than just pictures. You can see here there's also public chats. You can join in and chat with other like-minded individuals, which is pretty cool. Just join the group and you're good to go. And I can click on my profile. And by the way, guys, mine is Rainbow Tinkles World if you want to follow me. And I can see my chats, uh, any news, and also uh, my notifications, including my followers. And there's also these other communities that you can join, which is pretty cool because then you can kind of nail down your interests. But it's just like this really neat little world of really positive people with really cute crafts. So you guys should totally join. I'll leave a link in the description section and I hope to see you there. And so onto the craft. As always, kids, be sure and ask a parent for help before starting this craft. Uh, this was a lot of fun to make. So if you guys make it, tag me on Instagram and I will totally come check it out. Okay guys, so let's get started. So I just start here with some uh, thin cardboard from packaging material and I paint it green. And while that's drying, I can use cardstock or even postcards and glue them together just to make it a little bit uh, more durable. And when my cardboard's dry, and again, you can paint the bottom, you'll probably need to do it a couple of times on the side with writing, but I wasn't too concerned because you can't really see it. I cut out three pieces in irregular sizes, each one slightly smaller than the next. And then taking either a straw or here, I can roll up some scrapbook paper, just using a toothpick to help guide me. and I want it to be no thicker than my straw. I punch a hole through my middle section and insert my straw, then glue the bottom. And the top. And I'm just adding glue here along the middle just to keep that middle section in place. It's a pretty tight fit, so it's probably not going anywhere. Then to make my ladder, again, just using that thin cardboard, gluing my pieces in place. And for my little characters, whatever you want to call them, mice, bears, I'm not sure, uh, I'm using thick craft foam paper. And with my multi-hole punch, I cut out a large circle, a slightly smaller one, and then two uh, small circles. I cut the bottom of the large one just to make it flat along the bottom. And to make it a little bit easier, I'm pushing that slightly smaller section back into the craft foam to keep it in place. And using black and pink acrylic paint, I do my eyes and my nose. And guys, that's about the best I can do on such a small surface. Uh, and when the face dries, I glue everything together. To make my bed, I just cut out pieces of brown craft foam paper and I shaped the headboard just by cutting off the corners and glue it together. And I use a piece of scrapbook paper for my sheet. For my vanity, I'm using that double cardstock, so the pieces that I glued together earlier glue my legs, flip it over, and glue mirrored paper to the top. And for the little chair, I use my multi-hole punch to punch out two circles of craft foam paper. I cut one straight and glue it together, and then when they dry, I glue it to a little perler bead. For the sofa, again, just using craft foam paper, I cut out two rectangles, and then with uh, my mechanical pencil, no lead, I score the middle to make it look like cushions. I glue another piece to the back and then two tiny pieces to the side. And for the bench along the top, just more cardstock. I glue two pieces to the bottom, a long strip to two smaller strips. 
Then I flip it over and glue that section to the top. And to make my table, again, more cardstock. And of course, you could always just use thin cardboard for any of these. I use a gem to guide me and I make a circle and glue it to a perler bead. And for details, I'm just using some tiny little beads. I take my super thin craft foam paper. I cut tiny little slits. I fold it over. And stick it inside of my bead. And when my vanity's dry, I'm just gluing tiny little beads as if they're like little bottles. I use craft foam for the pillow for my bed. And I add little couch cushions, again, just more craft foam paper. And to make the TV, just using black cardstock and inserts from newspapers. I glue it to my cardstock. And when all my accessories have dried, I glue my TV in place, my ladders. are so totally good to go. Well guys, I sure hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks guys! Bye.